Good morning, uh, friends and family. Today is June the 13th, 2016, and I had a little bit of peace and quiet here at the house. Um, I feel like the Lord's telling me to, um, just really putting out my spirit to share this with you today, about a vision that I had three days ago. Um, like normal, um, I will be in prayer. Um, it does require a uh, complete stillness um, to hear the Lord, and sometimes I hear from Him, and sometimes I don't. Well, three days ago, um, I was praying, and um, I'm going to look um, to my notes um, here and there. To be honest with you, I haven't been able to bring myself to share it in the three days because I haven't been feeling well. Um, most of you who are close to me know that I've been having some issues, um, some health issues. Um, but nevertheless, let me just get right down to it. It's going to be quick, but again, I the only time that I share a video is when the Lord literally compels me to do so, because He wants all of you to be aware of the things that are coming in the very near future. Okay, so the vision that I'm going to uh, go over today, I actually named it Honeycomb. The reason I did is because um, you'll see that when the Lord showed me this vision, what it was was um, when what I can only describe as a screen that comes around in front of me when I'm in deep prayer, sitting up in bed and I was praying and it came to me in black and white, um, which is strange because usually it doesn't, my visions don't come to me in black and white. This was very clear. It was very dramatic. It was um, almost um, uh, intentional. Um, the black and white was very intentional, um, very dramatic. Nevertheless, he gave me the vision and the vision was Obama was standing to the left of the screen. Anytime I receive the visions, he's facing me, the, whether it be Obama, whether it be the Pope. So Obama was facing me when I was seeing this vision, when the Lord granted me this vision. Obama briefly looked forward in the vision, again being in all black and white, um, and he was addressing on the left of him, to the left of him, he was a, addressing what appeared to be a group of what I can only describe as pods. That's what it looked like. It looked like groups with like a dome and again all I could describe it was it looked like pods. Again being black and white in nature. And when I looked at these pods of course I always speak to the Lord and and I try to grasp everything that's coming before me before the vision is out of my sight. Um, any watchman will tell you this, that as soon as you're given a vision, not only are you humble to receive the word from the Lord, but you try to grasp everything in your sight um, so that you can understand it immediately. Um, that way you can write stuff down. down excuse me. So what I seen was when he was um, uh, speaking to this uh, area of just like below him and to the left, he was looking at uh, addressing these pods. And the word that the Lord granted me at that particular time, which I've mentioned in my other videos, is what's called, what I've come to know as a voiceless word or a voiceless message. And what he gave me was the word honeycomb. And I thought, hmm, well, that's strange, you know, but I mean, I understood um, what he was showing me because also when I received the word honeycomb, I received knowledge knowing, I should say, not knowledge, knowing um, that the pods represented the United Nations, okay? If you've looked into um, the United Nations and how they sit in prophecy and how uh, tight-knit they are with the, um, the White House administration and the elites, um, they go hand in hand. Uh, they're all a part of the, um, the, um, peace treaty that they're trying to obtain from Israel, which I honestly, from what the Lord has showed me in other previous visions here, um, here recently, excuse me, 
I it's my understanding that there's not going to be a um, a peace treaty that Netanyahu, uh, the Prime Minister of Israel, uh, signs willingly. The Lord is giving me uh, this knowledge, this knowing that that peace treaty, which is indicated in the Bible, he who has a hand in in dividing the Holy Land, judgment will come upon. He has mentioned it in other visions that I've received, that he will split the earth through a mega earthquake. Going back to this vision, and I was just trying to explain to you, um, if you haven't been following along or just seeing this video um, now and haven't seen my other videos, the United Nations clearly has a part in all of these um, these uh, series of events that will be happening here very soon. So when the Lord gave me uh, the knowledge, the knowing that um, the pods that I seen in this um, were actually, they symbolized the United Nations and then he gave me the word, the actual word, uh, honeycomb. I prayed about it and I fell asleep. Again, being very grateful that the Lord is still speaking with me, still communicating with me. And um, so I fell asleep, and um, of course, every like every vision, um, I have to declare it. And um, I declared it in the morning. I shared it with my husband and my son. And um, as I started to, just after I declared it, I went ahead and started my research. When you have a vision, it always follows with research. Some of them are more um, blatant, but the Lord speaks to us in parables. Um, any watchman can tell you that. Um, so I went to go do my research on the symbolism of the word honeycomb. And uh, I was really surprised um, just how quickly uh, the answers came to me. Um, so what I found was when you look at a honeycomb, um, it is a key component and symbolizes um, and symbolizes or is used to describe cells in the matrix. Okay. Now I'm not talking about the matrix, the movie, okay, because a lot of people, um, they want to dispel uh, what watchmen are warning about. Let me just put it this way. For the people who are out there who are going out of their way to dispel a watchman okay consider if you're that person and if you're one of those people that just wants to debunk everything that the watchman have to share with you okay and share with the world because that's our job is to share it with everybody no matter how uncomfortable it is that is our position but if you are one of those people, then today I'm asking you to please take it upon yourself in your heart, okay, no matter how scary it may be, try considering the truth. Try to consider looking at the truth instead of trying to debunk what the watchmen are trying to heed warning to. Being a watchman, you know, is not easy. As I've said, it's caused me health issues. Health issues I haven't even shared with some of my family. Health issues I won't even tell my dad or my mom about because I don't like to worry my parents. I'm just letting you know today because the Lord wanted me to put this out there because from this this uh, vision and yes it was just filled with a couple of parables for me to figure out that's how he communicates with us but the thing is is that he also gave me knowing that this is right around the corner I'm not here to fear monger you I'm here to wake you up 
I'm telling you this is not easy to do. Please understand that. Please put yourself in my position. If you were very faithful to the Lord and He came to you through visions or through prophetic dreams, consider this. Would you be brave enough to come forward because you were worried about your popularity or what people would think of you? Anybody who knows me knows I don't care what you think. It's more important for me to get you and your families the message. It's not about pride. It's not about popularity. If I wanted to be popular, I would have show, chosen something different. But I don't work that way. I'm telling you for your own safety. Please prepare. Please do some research. And most of all, you don't have to believe me. I don't get anything out of this. But what I do want out of all of this is to keep your families in the know so that you can prepare. So you can prepare physically at home and so that you can prepare spiritually and know that we're coming upon those days. People have asked me, when do you think this is going to happen? This being the series of events that will cause this domino effect to happen where um, whether it's the division of the land of Israel which is guaranteed to bring on that mega earthquake the Lord has already told us that and that is prophesied in the Bible um, I don't want to do any uh, date setting there was a time a while back where I misunderstood um, because I I have to configure um, and sort out what the Lord is showing me and um, perhaps I, I spoke too quickly um, to warn somebody and it caused me some major issues because I did it out of the goodness of my heart and it was something that I didn't share with other people but I wanted to protect this person because that's the kind of friend I am and so I promised I vowed myself to not put myself through that turmoil ever again. I know that the Lord, you know, He shows us these things. I'm coming to you in hopes that you will please research yourself. Again, you don't have to believe me. I really, really want for you to believe in Him. I want you to seek Him. Mm -hmm because he's the only thing that's going to get you and your families through these crises, through these tribulations that we're about to face. The Orlando shootings, it's something that you may not know. And maybe you do from keeping track of the prophecies that are being given on YouTube and other you know, elsewhere, that was actually prophesied almost to the week that something major was going to happen in Orlando. So please keep that in mind. If you're being doubtful, then equip yourself with knowledge, research. You owe it to yourself, but you owe it to your families to research and seek the truth. And ultimately, if that guides you into building or rekindling your faith and your relationship with the Lord, I'm grateful. That's what I want. That's, that's my position as a watchman. I want, for regardless of how this feels to me, 
that sometimes I feel really naked, literally doing these videos because there's always this one or two people that want to, you know, debunk you or, or whatnot. You know, I really don't have any problems with that because I distance myself from any negativity that way. I have a pretty solid um, family and friends support group that no, I, I would never mock God. Never. Ever. So, um, I'm keeping this one short. Like I said, the Lord wanted me to reveal this to you um, in case any of you have received something similar to this. Um, I do encourage you to keep praying to the Lord because He has expressed to others as well that He is listening to your prayers. I've encouraged my circle of friends to keep praying. My style is I pray out loud to Him. I want to make sure He's hearing me. Even though I know that you don't have to talk out loud, you don't have to pray out loud, you don't have to go to church to be heard. I pray to the Lord directly. Um, I'm hoping I'm not missing something, but I really feel like I am. There was something really important that I wanted to stress to you. Um, I guess I'll just leave it with, um, I was supposed to get interviewed um, by a dear friend of mine um, and um, with the events happening for the month of June, um, we're going to hold off on it uh, to give him some space, but um, in the meantime, we, my husband and I have reached out to Christian outlets um, and other um, talk show people or personalities, I should say, talk show personalities, to see if anybody's willing to hear the messages so that we can spread the Lord's message um, globally. But um, if you watch this today, please just know that the Lord is with you. If you seek Him, you will find Him. He will communicate with you. So please, don't, don't be ashamed. If you have the gift of prophecy, I'm still encouraging you, come out and speak about it. The gift of prophecy is a gift from the Lord. It is to be shared with His people. The gift of prophecy is not meant for you and you only. It is for you to sound the alarm and help other watchmen get the message out there. So with this in mind, um, if I need to add anything, I'll add it in the notes because like I said, I feel like I'm, I'm uh, forgetting something. But um, uh, I just um, pray to God that you hear these messages and that you please take them to heart. But please have the Lord discern what the truth is. I don't change His messages. I, I give you, and that's why I write down right there and then when I receive the vision I grasp everything that I possibly can I write it down immediately um, I usually I don't write it uh, per se but I type it into my phone because I now have my phone next to me because since I started receiving the mes messages the visions um, since September of uh, 2015 excuse me um, but I'll keep you in touch um, if there's anything like I said um, the only time I do a video um, is I do it when the Lord tells me to share it. Um, perhaps some people are following the videos, and that's good. Like I said, I don't do them for popularity. Um, I do them because the Lord requests that of me. So I try to be as humble as I can. But we're all flawed. You know that. I know that. He knows that. We all have our flaws. We all have our ups and downs. I try to serve him as best as I can, and I try to stay as humble as I possibly can. So um, I'll end it here, and uh, God bless you, and um, please be safe, and please consider start stocking up. Uh, 
um, start sucking up your food and primarily food, canned foods uh, with the long shelf life, um, water, water is going to be essential and um, just store it away and, and um, please rekindle your, your love for the Lord and uh, ask for forgiveness of your sins and if it's true that the rapture comes first for those who are in Christ not the lukewarm but the people actually who are in Christ every day those who don't just think about God when they need something and ask for something to you know in their favor I'm talking about what the Lord calls his saints in the Bible if the rapture happens first it's going to be hard for you if you're left behind in the tribulations I don't know exactly when the rapture happens I've been asked that several several times and I have asked the Lord for discernment on that I have I've asked him so many times to disclose it to me but honestly just like the Bible says no man knows the hour and neither does Jesus only God the Father does so stay hungry for the Lord be on fire for the Lord God bless you and keep you and your families and um, we just um, we just pray for you every day we pray for everybody God bless you Amen